from Darian Durant, knowing that Durant's mobility is compromised here. I expect to see Calgary pressure a lot more because you know he can't run on it. Here they come. There the ball goes. Looking for Getzlaff again, and uh, they were bringing the house and Darian Durant's on the turf. Well, Eric Fraser was in the mix once again. This has been part of his role over the last couple of years with the Calgary Stampeders this time again coming from the top. They've just got them outnumbered. He's the free man, which means Darian Durant has to throw hot. Hurried throws are less accurate than unrushed throws. This is why you get after the quarterback. On that one, Durant came up short. That has been an issue this year for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders protecting Darian Durant. Here's Chris Milo, 37-yarder. Right down the pipe, make that 31-yarder. 17-13, Saskatchewan. 13. Close one here tonight, maybe too close for the Calgary Stampeders, and they're faithful. Need a win here tonight, with Edmonton winning earlier. John Cornish. You heard him in his conversation with Jermaine Franklin talking about them taking away Saskatchewan, taking away the run game, and another 11-yard pickup for Cornish. Well, John Cornish keeps finding a way. He's got that great change of pace and patience, allowing the blocks to set up in front of him before exploding upfield, as he did on that first down run. As Cornish mentioned, if Saskatchewan is going to overplay that run, they feel that Drew Tate with some play action and some bootlegs can really take advantage of that throwing the football. Tate. Kicked. His first kick. He's delivered in the Canadian Football League by Nick Graham. Big turnover for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders. And good field position. Drew Tate's streak has been snapped by Nick Graham, who has his first CFL interception. And tough to tell whether the ball got away from Drew Tate or if Robbie Bryant ran something different than what Drew Tate expected. And I suspect it's the latter as the quarterback and receiver were in serious conversation on the sidelines afterward. Second year rider, Tulsa product, Nick Graham. Picks off Drew Tate's first in 156 attempts. Darian Durant had lots of time there. Brandon West. Eric Fraser bringing him down. Well, Eric Fraser's had a real impact over the last couple defensive series, blitzing from his safety spot a couple times on the last play in here with a fine open field tackle on Brandon West. Once again, Darian Durant gets a fair bit of time, able to step up a little bit, but he's not, not going to take off like the Darian Durant we've become accustomed to seeing over the last few seasons. No, normally we'd see him about 10 or 11 yards downfield in that play. Obviously affected by that ankle and foot tonight. Kerry Cope with the reception will move the sticks again down near the 37-yard line. And the key to, to Darian Durant's ability to be successful here tonight again is him getting time, being able to throw from the pocket. Once again, that time the offensive line doing a terrific job. Darian Durant not being forced to, to test that mobility, to test out that broken foot a whole lot. That is doing what they normally do, and that is get better as games progress. Durant. Kansas in the pocket, and then one hopper over to West Cates, so it's an incomplete pass. Well, Darian Durant got the happy feet a little bit that time, and you saw the effect that had on the throw as he one hopped it to his receiver. Good call by the officials right there. It'll be second down and 10 now for the Rough Riders. To convert this turnover into some points. Three man rush. They get to Durant, and he has it picked off. Charleston Hughes to the 20, to the 10, to the 5. No 
flags on the field. And there's a ball that Darian Durant would love to have back. Under pressure, three-man rush threw it away to Charleston Hughes, who almost took it the distance. Well, Charleston Hughes starts off at his defensive end position, but he's going to drop in coverage. This could be part of Darian Durant not understanding exactly where he was. But the over the head hook shot, costly. Now, as he gets run down, as Hughes gets run down from behind, Eric Fraser comes over late to try and get a block. Fraser could have been there a lot earlier. He was out in front of Hughes, celebrating what he expected to be a touchdown, and he turned back earlier to a score. Well, they'll score now. Cornish to the end zone. And the Stampeders get the ball back. Huge interception by Charleston Hughes. 65 yards down inside the five-yard line. And John Cornish caps it off. Calgary offense capitalizing on a big break provided by their defense. Well blocked. Nice job at the right tackle spot by big Stanley Bryant. Get the hooks on his man, not let him pursue to the outside on Cornish. What a turn of momentum. Stampeders give the ball back. Ruck Riders look like they could even take it down and maybe take the lead and then give up that interception. There it is, the point after. The lead is 11 here in Calgary. This is our league brought to you by Nissan, and uh, this weekend the CFL, Dwayne Ford, has turned pink. Uh, they certainly have at stadiums all across the country. You, guys you see the hat? pink paraphernalia, <laughs> sporting CFL oh, logos. Perfect. Now it's perfect. Great looking pink Stampeder toque there. I don't know much about the model <laughs> wearing it. But. And even quick six. That's a been tanked up tonight. John Cornish finds the end zone, and a lot of the players again wearing the pink and Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and trying to prevent increase awareness of women's cancers. Maybe in Cancer Society benefiting tonight from all of the merchandise that has been purchased, and players have certainly bought in and. You know, it's a disease that is close to everyone. We have all been touched by it, particularly the spokesperson here, here in Calgary. His mom, Randy Chevrier's mom, is a breast cancer survivor. She lost a cousin to the disease. Wes Lysak used to be the spokesperson. Of course, when Wes left after the season, Randy Chevrier took over. Well, as you said, Rod, I think Virtually everyone has been touched, whether directly or indirectly, by this disease. As you see, Randy Chevrier, it's a, it's a no-brainer to get on board. And I think the CFL should be commended for their support in the fight against cancers. And the Pink Power campaign here in Calgary has really been organized and led by John Huffnagel's wife, Penny, who has been heavily involved the last couple of years. Is Huff sporting his pink. So the injured is Stampeder to the sidelines, and now the Rough Riders try to bounce back from that turnover and the touchdown. Down 11 points. Durant to Ephraim Hill. First down. Yeah, good For that pick, Durant had pitched a pretty clean game and his 14th interception of the season. Bill with 18 touchdown passes. And taking care of that football so important to the Saskatchewan Rough Riders' success. CFL and passing yardage for quarterbacks last year. 
Chris Gatslap came back to the football. Looks like he's going to move the sticks again. Durant, though, has been known to be one of those quarterbacks who throws the touchdowns but also can throw a number of picks. Yeah, exactly. Last year, 25 touchdowns, still 22 interceptions. And this year, the number's pretty close as well. But night and day when you look, and we'll, we'll talk more about it, but the difference between his performance in terms of touchdowns, interceptions, in victories versus losses. Losses have piled up. Saw the number there, Brandon West. Justin Phillips with the tackle. It'll be second down and the throwing down again for Durant. Well, nine touchdown passes versus two interceptions in the four wins. You've got those, the glaring 11 interceptions against nine touchdowns in the 11 losses. It tells a huge story. The most telling stat in football in terms of predicting wins and losses is that turnover battle. Second and eight. There's the rush. Durant. Again, it's Getzlaff, and he lunges forward. And Getzlaff seeing a lot of football tonight, of course, as we mentioned earlier, the Rough Riders without Andy Fantuz again with that ankle issue. Fifth catch for Getzlaff on the night. Getzlaff had that monster game against Calgary last fall, five catches, 201 yards in that ball game. But he's been quiet against the Stampeders through their first three meetings of this season. It seems like the Rough Riders have, as a whole though, are much more balanced, much more effective offensively than we've seen them maybe all year. Ephraim Hill. Unable to hang on, watched by Greg Fawcett. And he knows that he had a very good chance of bringing that football in. But Ephraim Hill winds up as the middle man in that three receiver set, as he frequently does, coming underneath, and that's one that he needs to have. And again, Durant's gonna have to go to the air here. Keep this drive alive. Over two minutes remain in the third quarter. Riders trail 24-13. The time, Durant slings it out for Kerry Cope. Right at the first down marker, and it looks that's like where they're going to mark this. See if it will require a measurement. Might be a little bit shy here. A half a yard from this vantage point so here comes Cole Berkwist again for the short yardage third down plunge Berkwist at University of Montana likely has some friends and family that have made the trek north for this one and it goes forward there's the first down Pick up the merchandise here. The NFL on TSN, the week when I remind you, continues Sunday. The Colts travel to New Orleans to take on the Saints. Sunday night football live. Coverage begins at 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. You can also watch the game live on TSN Mobile TV. The Riders get the first down. Getting up a lot of this clock on this drive again. Deep drop, going deep to the end zone, and Weston Dressler, watched by Brandon Smith. Dressler looking for a call, he's not getting it. Oh, great defensive play there by Brandon Smith, who solidified that field halfback spot for the Stampeders. Dressler makes a nice adjustment to turn and go to the outside shoulder here. Smith in good position in front of him, gets the head around. Not sure if he got a fingertip on that one or not, but certainly did enough to keep Dressler from making the play. Second down again. Here's the rush. Durant lets it go. Open man making the catch at the 11-yard line. Guess who? 
gets left.